Hey y'all, it's me, Ren, back again for another adventure. And our adventure is, of course, Monster Prom. <clears throat> I've been toying, toying with the idea of playing some other games, but I have yet to branch out and be uh, quite so adventurous. Because Monster Prom is very easy to stream, and it's very fun to stream. Uh, and so I'm letting it, you know, be my crutch. But hey, it's a fun crutch for right now, at the very least. So let's go ahead and play a game. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, my kitties are here. My kitties are here to make noise while I stream. Let's see. One person, first class short term. Ah, uh, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Back then, we were young and unafraid, sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Oh. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to look. Here, we're gonna, we're gonna go back to menu, because we haven't started yet. Yes, we want to go back to menu. Let's take a peekaboo in our gallery and see what all we've got. We still have not successfully dated Vero without a special plot, so we are still missing our sixth success card with these folks, for these folks. Uh, let's see. And what about our Polaroids? We have Damien, and we have Miranda, and we have Vera. <clears throat> Damien, Miranda, Vera means Scott, Polly, and Liam. Okay, we're going for Scott, Polly, or Liam with green. For a minute, I thought we had all of our green cards, but we don't. Ha ha ha, green card. That's an American joke. Wah, 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 wah. All right, so we are going to... Play. We already did this part. First one player, first term, short game. La la la. Who are we? We are. We are green. Custom name Gren. <clears throat> <laughs> and we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left. And as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our most, six most charismatic classmates. Huzzah! Miranda Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Yeah! Damien LeVay, 21, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. <laughs> Scott Howell, 21. A werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. Liam DeLioncourt, 400 and something. <clears throat> a hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. Hey! Polly Geist, 22? A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. <clears throat> oh goodness, I'm sorry, it's, it's Flemmy here today. It's Flemish. Uh, and Vera Oberlin, 23, a mean, self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. It was clear it had to be one of them, but who? We had only three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we had only three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. We're at these three right now. I guess blue, purple, blue, or... Red, no. Uh, anyway, as I already said, we were young and unafraid. We were ready to start. Okay, I'm sorry, I got distracted. I was looking at my sound bar. Ooh, and my allergies are going. I lose a lot of my train of thought here. All right, welcome to Monster Prom, stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more, we're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. 
Monster Prom Stupidest Pop Quiz Ever TM. We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers alchemy-like into your character stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start. <clears throat> Which god do you pray to each night before you sleep? Praying is kind of lame. I have a group text set up with some deities. Dionysus, Bastet, Loki. Coolest cats in town. Oh, I pray to all kinds of gods. I have this business where people pay me to deliver their prayers every night. I've even started to look for a Chinese factory to outsource the prayers. Praying is for fools. I took compromising pics of a god molesting a tree, and now I blackmail him for whatever I want. A lot more effective. All right, we're going to go with this first one because this seems fun. Oh, it's charming. Sure, whatever. I mean, both of the bottom ones looked like they could have been money. All right. School is outdated and lame. We need a new school subject, ASAP. Oh, how about critical race theory? We could do that. Y'all, I did that thing where I looked at the microphone like it was a camera again. Anyway. How to correctly punch a crocodile without terrible consequences. Critical thought. I mean, damn, this country could really use a subject like that in schools. It's almost like critical race theory, guys. Uh, turning people into your puppets through emotional warfare and deception 101. Let's go ahead and punch a crocodile, because... I mean, honestly, these other two are going to hit a lot more resistance than uh, learning how to punch a crocodile. Plus, it's bold. We're gonna be bold. You find a genie in a bottle. You can ask for whatever you want. What do you ask for? Before asking for anything, you try to negotiate up to the three standard wishes. Infinite confetti! Him not to be so cliched. A genie in wishes, so mainstream. I don't ask for anything. I drink the genie from the bottle. I can grant my own dang wishes. A rainbow you can eat is friendship. Ah, uh, let's go ahead and decide. We're gonna go for. Uh, we're gonna go for Scott. Hey, Scott, the genie will give you his friendship. Dong 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 dong. The dong dong the dong. Y'all, my last three followers have been hate raid bots, so I'm obviously doing well, right? That's what that means? Or does it just mean that I'm live when they send out their bots to look for people? Could be. Could be indeed. Ding dong. It's going to take a while to load again. Hey, Fargo. Fargo, come here. Entertain me. Yeah, okay. All right, I got two good pets in on my cat. That was a good loading screen. Good pets, good pets. All right, uh, we need to get our creativity out of the basement here. So we're gonna go to auditorium. <clears throat> that day while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you a figurative blowjob. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain two creativity. Scott and Polly pull you aside, one of them holding each of your arms. Whatever's going on, it's serious. Whoa! We need your help, bro! Oh. The midterm for AP jump scares is coming up tomorrow, and we're so unprepared. We tried everything we could think of to get ready. I rolled up the textbook and smoked it. And I ate my homework. But nothing worked. We've only got one option left. We gotta cheat, bro. We just need to figure out how to do it without messing with the teacher. Hmm. Or with messing with the teacher. Either way, if you could help us, we'd be super grateful. That's all the incentive you need. You hook them up with your ultimate cheating technique. Just take the test like normal, then use this time machine to go back and change your answers. Write all the answers on the teacher's face. He'll never see them there. Huh. 
Uh, let's write him on the teacher's face. Because, I, I mean, that's like three, I just, yes. okay, it's bold. Yeah, all right. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Mr. Giant Stonehead is like 99% face. It's perfect. And I've heard he sleeps like a rock, too. This will be so easy. But isn't this vandalism? Coach says winners don't do vandalism. Mm -hmm. No, silly. It's only vandalism if you're doing it on a not alive thing. This is makeup artistry. You make a mental note never to let Polly do your makeup. You gain two fun and one smart. Well, I guess we're going after Polly now. Um, that's fine. She's one of the ones we need for green. Right? I didn't miss it. Yeah. Liam, Scott, and Polly. All right. We'll go for Polly. Um, sure. Sure. All right. Let's go see Coach. You're desperately trying to enjoy your meal in peace, but Coach insists on striking up a conversation. Hi, my beloved student. Hey there, bud. What you drinking? What? Milk? That's it? That's hardly a drink at all. <laughs> Everybody knows the drink is the backbone of a balanced lunch. And what would we be without backbones? I don't know. My doctor yells at me every time I try to find out. But enough about me. Let's get you juiced. You can have sports sauce or muscle juice. Which will it be? Well, I can do both, or I can do whiskey. We're gonna do whiskey, because we're going after Polly, and the more, the more of that we have, the better. Hmm, I don't remember offering you any whiskey. But you chose it, so I must have offered it to you. Otherwise, why would you have chosen it? Youth is a gift. Oh, well, guess I've just got to go out and buy you a case of whiskey. Coach marches off to illegally purchase a whole bunch of alcohol on your behalf. When all your classmates realize they can get Coach to buy them booze just by asking, you become the coolest kid in school. You gain four fun. Yeah, I'm fun. Yeah. Um, sure. Um, sure. All right, our creativity still blows. Um, but let's get money, because I'm paranoid about getting money requiring themes with Scott and with Polly. That day, you spend some time on the library's PCs managing your star kicker. You deceive lots of people with a sensationalist video and impossible promises. Nice. You gain a hundred thousand money, but you almost everything goes to cover costs, and you keep only two money. Suddenly, a chill runs through you, as if the very fabric of reality is in danger. Scanning your surroundings, you quickly discover the reason for the feeling. Polly and Damien are together, and they're bored. Hi! Damien! 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 What? I must have fallen asleep for a second because nothing is on fire. Mm. I know, right? Nothing crazy has happened in the last 47 minutes, and I'm dead. I mean, I'm literally actually dead. But I'm also dead because of how bored I am. What if we just... Oh, fuck, I'm so bored. I can't even think of something to do to not be bored. No! Help us! Somebody, please, cause a sexy problem. Break the seven seals and release Kralak Fool, the world fucker. Send in the party goblins. We're gonna send in the party goblins. Yeah, so fun. You call up every party goblin you know, and in a few minutes, the whole school is full of them. Oh, you got goblins. They bring their party hats, their kegs of cheap beer, and their illegal fireworks. Damien gets into a friendly fist fight with 12 goblins, while Polly poses for Goblins Gone Wild. The party leaves nine dead, hundreds wounded, and your two friends completely satisfied. You gain two boldness and one fun. She's got stars in her eyes, and they shine for me. Um, dun, 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 dun. All right, what do I blow at? Oh, I'm still real bad at creativity. Um, but let's do money one more time. Just, just in case. 
All right, that day you spent some time on the library's PCs, playing some good old online poker. Gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision, but who cares? This time it paid off, so fuck it. You gained two money. You're just getting ready to leave when you get a text from Polly. Hey, baby, let's party. How can you refuse such a formal missive? You track her down immediately. Hey, you got my text. That's good, because I need some help brainstorming. I'm going to a party tonight, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be lame, and that needs to change. See, it's a costume party. You know, where everyone dresses up as their favorite humans? I'm going as a sexy tax attorney. But I'm not sure even the sexiest tax attorney can rescue this party from the depths of lamitude. So, got any ideas how to help spice things up? Oh, you've got some ideas, and they're the spiciest. All right, so last time, I think I went as the sexy tax attorney. Uh, so we're going to go spike the punch with Mandrake Root. Turns out, turn, it, it turns monsters into actual humans. As opposed to, okay, you go as a sexy tax attorney, I'll go as a sexy tax evader. All right, I read the mountain wrong, but here. Yeah, so smart. Smart enough. Later that night at the party. <laughs> this is nuts. Look at all these humans in human costumes. Georgina the party owlbear totally just turned into a sumo wrestler. And Larry the Lich looks exactly like former United States President Abraham Lincoln. Oh, Larry doesn't just look like Lincoln. He is Lincoln. He has all of Lincoln's memories up to the moment of his death. Every newly transformed human at the party comes complete with a full lifetime of memories. A childhood, family, friends. They have no recollection of their lives as monster, as a monster, and are all currently going insane from the cognitive dissonance. <laughs> Manny the Manticore just turned into a retired cop who's screaming for his estranged wife and two sons. Pranked! In about four hours, all of these newly created people will revert to their previous forms, essentially murdering these new identities. Lol. In the meantime, you and Polly have a great time scaring the shit out of actual humans and streaming it online. You gain two creativity and one fun. Hey, Wraith Mistress! I like owlbears too. Uh, I tend to like owlbears as presented by other people who love owlbears as opposed to the actual owlbears in the, uh, the monster manual. But yeah, owlbears, they're rad. Oh, I've got a Fargo. Hi, kitty kitty. All right. Um, so we're going to sure. eat lunch. Let's see. Ah, uh, we're still fairly. Oh, hi. We're still fairly in need of some stat bumping. So we're going to go over here. You were planning to sit by yourself today, but the only table you can find is partly taken by the coven. You do feel kind of sorry for them. After all, no one ever seems to want to sit with them. We're here. Oh, good, it's you. We can practice one of our spells on you. And this is probably why. Oh, don't look so worried. We're preparing for an upcoming battle with the disgruntled Lord of the Seventh Circle. And if we don't do our homework, we'll have a hell of a time beating him. The audience laughs. Wait, audience? Anyway, we got two spells we've been meaning to try out. Magical enhancements to help us beat this big bad. Do you think we could try one on you? Pretty pretty, please. Aww, says the audience. You know, a magical enhancement doesn't sound half bad. You can choose either of the two options. The spell that lets you see the future and also the past. And the present. You can watch live TV anywhere. Nah, you want to go for something a bit different. Let's do the spell that turns you into two helicopters. Okay, so this one's definitely smarts. This one's, I think, creativity. Let's bump our creativity up here. Yeah, the, the choice is made. Wingardium Doublecopter. You always wondered what it would be like to be two helicopters. You both rise through the ceiling of the cafeteria shattering the skylight, showering students with glass. 
We should have thought this through. We should have thought this through. I don't know what I'm doing with their voice. I kind of made them sound ghosty of. Uh, you dish school and spend the afternoon cruising the city, murdering birds and fucking up people's drones. Eventually, you start to wonder if you're two helicopters, which helicopter contains the real you? If one helicopter is destroyed, where does your consciousness reside? These philosophical questions are outside your comfort zone. You finally return to school and let the coven restore you to your former body. But your experience being two helicopters has left you with a mind more flexible than ever. You gain four creativity. All right. Bing dong, bang bong. Um, sure. Okay, so we are on the party path with Polly. And we've technically already succeeded with the party path with Polly. But we're going to go ahead and keep keep on it, um, trying out the uh, other legs of it. And I don't remember what all they are, so I need to bump up some of my stuff here. We're going to bump up our charm. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural-born leader. You gain two charm. Dun, 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 dun. On your way out, you spot Polly still wearing the lab coat she stole from that human party the other night. She takes it off and throws it at you to get your attention. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo! That human party convinced me I want to be a scientist. But not just any kind. A party scientist. What's a party scientist, you say? Well, it's just a scientist who's dedicated to discovering the secret to the raddest party. Through a series of extremely scientific experiments, I aim to discover what exactly makes a party good so I can distill whatever it is into a vial and drink it. Or, you know, just have really dope parties all the time. Anyway, I'm going to a bar mitzvah tonight and I need your scientific advice. What can we do to push this party over the edge? The electric slide, but with actual electricity. Chemistry. Okay, we did the chemistry one last time, so let's see where electricity gets us. Oh, it's so fun! It's so fun to be electric. I mean, honestly, I don't recommend it to anyone at home, but I've had electrical current pass through me. It was fine. All right, later that night. <laughs> Look at him dance. I don't know why I never thought of this before. It's just basic science. Lightning gives life to a Frankenstein. A Frankenstein is stitched together mass of sexy flailing limbs, which also is what a party is. Lightning is the life of the party. What's that? You want to know who the bar mitzvah boy is? I don't know. I don't know any of these kids. Crashing bar mitzvahs, the height of party culture. You have so much fun, you forget to tell Polly she should have said Frankenstein's monster. You gain two fun and one charm. All right, let's talk about that. Adam, the monster, was built by Frankenstein and in such ways is the son of Frankenstein and is therefore also a Frankenstein. So there, solved. Ding dong, bing bong. Um, sure. Sure. Uh, sure. Ding dong, bing bong. All right. Um, I recall correctly, we're going to need more charm for the last one. We're going to get so charming. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Amidst the battle, you spot a fellow player that seems utterly discouraged. She thinks she's not worth anything at dodgeball, and she <gasps> attempts to throw a ball at herself. You explain to her the many ways you think she's unique and wonderful, while also defending the many pleasures in life. With your help, she's capable of finding reasons to keep playing and gains a sense of self-worth. You gain one BFF. Sadly, she's not part of this game. So that beautiful friendship will take place off screen. And two charm. ding a ling -ing. Polly didn't participate in the game, and after it's over, you see why. She's talking to Coach. Hmm. 
Look, coach, I'm just saying, I'm cool, hip, wild youth. This lame old fashioned workouts are too tame for me. Tame? Tame? What about burpees? Burpees are like the wild stallions of workout routines. Yawn. Maybe if the wild stallion was like a million years old and addicted to sleeping pills. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you what. Why don't you come up with your own super cool workout? I mean, the secret to workout is anything can be a workout as long as it makes you buff and tired. Anything? Anything. Oh man, now I've got too many great choices. I can't decide. Someone help. The ultimate goes down workout, possessing people who are already buff and tired. Fear. Pong. Beer. Pong. Beer. Pong. All right. Well, I know this bottom one has got to be fun. So I'm going to go with that. Because this one might be smart and I'm not entirely smart. So let's go with beer pong. It's so fun. Beer pong. Of course. They do it in college fraternities, so it must be a sport. And Principal Giant Spider is always saying, I should do more to prepare you kids for college. Sorry, everyone. Looks like I'm going to have to spend the exercise equipment budget on beer and solo cups. I have literally been training for this moment my entire death. Y'all suckers don't stand a chance. She's right. You don't. But you sure have fun trying. You gain two fun and one creativity. Dun, dun, dun. I'm just going to sing here. All right. So, what are we going to eat lunch with today? Oh, another gruff voice. Great. Okay. You're about to dig into a delicious bowl of beef jerky when you see the wolf pack across the table panting at you. What's up, new? Yo, dog, can we have some of that beefy J you got there? We love meats that have been jerked. Ah, uh, come on. We'll totally try to do anything for my lunch. You can have this dead ferret or this half chewed telephone receiver or, uh, while one of them is talking, the others just straight up eat your beef jerky. You hit their noses with a newspaper, but it's too late. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoops! Guess we got a trade after all, huh? Which one of our foods do you want, dog? How about this black plastic bottle labeled seriously, don't drink this, it's poison. Nothing. Give me back my beef jerky now. All right. This is fun. This is bold. We're going to be more bold because that's where we need it. But uh, we already ate it. It's in our stomachs. That's a weak excuse if you've ever heard one. You dive into the leader's mouth. Ah! Stop rooting around in my stomach! You're too busy rooting around in his stomach to reply, but that seems like a pretty good response on its own. You climb back out of the pack leader's mouth, beef jerky clenched triumphantly in your teeth. Also a lung. So, so hungry. Your classmates break into a slow clap that soon becomes a standing ovation. Sometimes you gotta fight for your right to jerky. You gain poor boldness. All right, so I wanna point something out. Several of the wolf pack ate your beef jerky, but you collected it all from their leader's stomach. So I just, I just wanted to pause and think about the anatomy of the wolf pack there for a second. All right. All right, good. Just so we have all thought about that. Um, sure. Okay, week three evening. This is our final party. This is... Um... I'm going to do charm one last time. Because I think that's the one we need. And heaven help us if it's not. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. But the match isn't as important as the human interactions within it. You're at your peak when you decide to go for the overkill and wink at one of your teammates. He's totally mesmerized. It's the most epic wink ever. Damn, you know how to win over people's hearts. You gain two charm. So charming. But none of that matters. You're late to meet Polly for more party experiments. 
All right, our research is progressing well so far, but we've got a very limited sample size. I need to know that we can make any party the best, not just some parties. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna crash a funeral. If we can make that fun, we can make anything fun. So brainstorming time, how can we put the fun back in funeral? Possess the body of the deceased, bringing him back for one last party. Bouncy castle. All right, we did bouncy castle last time, so now we're doing this. Yeah, it's so fun. I thought it was gonna be charm, but it was fun. <clears throat> I guess the bouncy castle must have been creativity. I thought it was fun, but hey, you know, lots of us have our life view upended. Later that night, <clears throat> whoa, that was totally awesome. I was totally inside that dude. <laughs> And then when they were like, does anyone else want to say a few words? I was like, oh, oh, me. They totally freaked out. And then I was like, let's turn this funeral into a wedding. And I got married to like 11 people <clears throat> who are all widows now because I left that dude in a heap on the dance floor. But whatever, weddings rule. Hey, Gren, you know what? I think we're getting really close to the true formula for a rad party. You're the best science partner I've ever had. You guess she hasn't had a lot of science partners. You doubt she even knows the real definition of science, but she's just too happy for you to, to correct her now. Come on, the night's still young. Let's go turn an all night laundromat into an epic rave. Those washing machines don't know what hit them. You gain two creativity and one fun. Do -do 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 -do. All right, well, we know who we're asking. It's Polly. And we know the answer we're going to get. It's yes. But, you know, there's still some suspense. Hey, Polly, uh, you weren't going to prom with me? Um, sure. Um, sure. What? Prom? Of course, prom night will be another perfect opportunity to conduct our experiments in party science. So clever of you. That's why you're the best science partner. That's not what you meant, but sure, why not? Sooner than expected, prom night is here and the two of you are finally ready to crack the ultimate party formula. You free some wild animals, you do lots of ecstasy, you awaken the dead, you even do the dance of joy. Yo, that's a Perfect Strangers reference. How many of you know Perfect Strangers? Anyway, this was this this product was obviously aimed at me personally. All right, everything is perfect. You feel floaty and full of energy. You see beautiful shiny lights and you feel connected to everyone. Obviously, most of that is thanks to the ecstasy, but still. You feel like you've conquered the night and put a flag with your names on the peak of life itself. Then dawn comes. By now you're on a hill by the sea, watching the sun slowly come up. No idea how you got there, but who cares? You're at peace watching the gentle tide of the morning when you realize Polly has her hand over yours. She looks at you. Let's party till dawn, baby. You know what, Gren? This might be the Molly talking, but I think I finally got it. All these parties have been wildly different, yet all of them have been the very best. I've put a lot of thought into it, and I can only think of one thing they all had in common. I think the formula to a perfect party must be sharing it with the right people. You don't answer. You just hold her hand as you spend the morning watching the sun slowly coming up over the sea together. By a boardwalk, it looks like. So romantic. So yeah, I only had two new events, so this one's a real rehash. Uh, but I got six new outcomes because we we conquered her her party science with different paths this time. So we, we're still making progress. It's a little bit more of a boring progress, but progress nonetheless. Nonetheless. None the least. Nonetheless. Anyway, I'm the best at secret handshakes, so take that. And Polly's quote. Whoa, those shrooms just kicked in. What's this about a quote? Uh salami oh polly can have a little salami as a treat yes yeah, you can all right so we finished it up we're gonna get a few more unlocks but we're getting close we're getting close to having just polaroids and uh end cards to unlock because uh, we're we're really tearing through all of our uh behind the scenes stuff and fan fiction not fan fiction but fan art stuff 
Those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd of our lives. After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Polly's drug cooking skills proved useful, and she became a chemist for the pharmaceutical industry. But in her free time, she still cooks the real shit. Yeah, like who says she doesn't know science? She knows science well enough to make drugs. Her greatest inventions so far are watermelon-flavored ecstasy and a thing called LS Dope. Damien became an interior designer specializing in torture machines. Last month, Vogue magazine called his products the refined marriage between macabre and chic. Scott became a world-renowned athlete, but he ended his career to come back to his hometown and take on the job of the athlete he admired the most. Now he's back at high school again, working as the coach. For those three weeks, the monster prom seemed larger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for monster prom may have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. What if I told you that the song was gonna end because of YouTube's thingy where they take it away from me? That was a terrible song. Ignore that. All right, we're going to the gallery. So no new endings. We have a new Polaroid. All right, so we did accomplish one of our goals here, which was to get a new Polaroid. All right, they're in the bumper skip. Oh, his heart's skipping. His heart's skipping a beat. You're my kind of danger. Ha <laughs> ha. So both of them are dead already, so it doesn't matter, right? He just has to be careful not to lose any bits and bobs that he might need later. All right. Let's see. What new fan art do we have? Oh. <laughs> yep. It's this. It's this one. It's this meme. Do y'all remember this meme? It's this meme. Is this a love interest? Huh? I've never seen the original anime for this. But I know this meme. There you go. Alright. So that was exciting. Only two images. Man. Man. Alright. Well, that's all for today. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I saw a little, a little hint of a character that we haven't met yet. Let's look at this... Let's look at the screen for a second before we leave. There's lots of people we haven't met yet. We haven't met computer person. Uh, we haven't met, uh, where'd they go? Oh, this blue demon person. Some of these are in second semester or from uh, Monster Camp that I know of. Oh, here's a guy. He looks like a vampire guy. Maybe. Uh, all right. Well, that's all for now. Um, I may be coming on later. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to be watching anime later today. That's exciting. I love a good anime. Um, and we'll see if I'm back on later today or not. But if not, y'all have a wonderful day. And take care of yourselves. Stay safe out there, okay? Bye for now. Yeah.